So it's interesting that uh, MRD evaluation seems to uh, uh, overrun uh, many other pronostic factors. So, so uh, even uh, high-risk uh, genetics, uh, if the patient gets an MRD negativity, it's still okay. Whereas a lower risk aberration with MRD positive is still is still bad. Uh, so, but then of course uh, you need to know what uh, what to talk, what to analyze with the MRD. And I think um, it's very interesting with the development of these uh, uh, specific uh, quanti quantitative evaluations of the different mutations that we can do with this uh, digital droplet uh, PCR. Uh, monitoring uh, uh, that we have started up to, up, up to do because uh, we know that there are uh, uh, clonal subsets and they uh, develop uh, in different directions and we really don't know which of the mutations that is in the individual case is the most important one so uh, so uh, uh, it's an um, interesting area but uh, I think we it will take many years. Guidelines actually is, uh, is uh, in press uh, as manuscript form in blood uh, this week. Uh, so uh, so uh, uh, we need to decide on, on how extensive we will do the monitoring. Of course that's a uh, resource I issue because, uh, because uh, to do uh, uh, individual mutation evaluations in all patients as a frequent monitoring, that's, uh, that's uh, quite demanding, uh, although it's a very interesting uh, thing. And uh, then, of course, uh, we need to uh, know uh, what to do uh, with the data. If we immediately act on, on what we see, then we have less possibilities to evaluate if this really is the right thing to do. Uh, whereas if we are conservative and just analyze and then do what we always have done, then we can analyze if, if, uh, if the testing is important or not. So